Okay, big challenge this week, going on the road, Sunday Night Football against a really good football team, leading our division, uh, great coaches. So we got to have a great work week uh, to prepare and get ready to go. With that, I'll take any questions. Kevin Baker wasn't on the pre-practice injury report, so just how much do you expect to be able to get out of him today in practice? Yeah, I, th I think we'll see. I think it's always good when guys can practice uh, throughout the week. I think for all players, uh, it's good if you can put three days uh, together. I asked him about this earlier, but like just throughout the week, how much have you seen him have to take on just more of the rehab and the treatment and all the things that he's got to do on top of being prepared for the game? Yeah, he, he does, and, and he's not unique in that. You know, uh, in the course of an NFL season, that training room, unfortunately, there's a lot of guys in there trying to get right and trying to make it to Sunday. So that's just part of this grind. I know it's Wednesday, but you got three key receivers down today mm -hmm. with Jarvis, DBJ, and Schwartz. Um, how confident are you, are, are you that you're going to have one, two, or three of those guys for Sunday night at this point? Well, I think that was similar to last week in terms of uh, those guys' availability on Wednesday. Uh, you know, I, I feel good about Jarvis, uh, and then I'm just not sure on the on Schwartzy and DPJ. Coach, How about what a boost Kareem? does it give you to get Kareem back? How much does that help the young Yeah, in I think it's great to have him out here. Uh, it was great to have him in the walkthrough. I'm sure on the practice field, you know, he brings energy, uh, brings a toughness to what he does. So I, I think it gives the guys a boost starting today. Kevin, do you designate someone a non-quarterback to play Lamar at all during the week? We do uh, use a couple different guys back there. Uh, just uh, no, doesn't matter who you put back there. It's not going to replicate his athleticism, his speed, his ability to make throws from the pocket. All, all of that. I mean, he's uh, he's a rare, rare talent. Kareem Hunt. Other than we know what he does with the ball, but when he doesn't have the ball in his hands, what does he give you? Yeah, he's. Uh, Great effort uh, throughout. I mean, Jeff, I'd even tell you when he is on the sideline, uh, when he's cheering his teammates on, uh, when he's on the field, he, he's a uh, great and pass pro uh, threat outside of the back, out, coming out of the backfield to catch routes, can line up outside the backfield to catch routes. And we know what type of runner he is. He just, he runs so hard uh, and just gains those extra yards, uh, it feels like, with each one of his runs. Uh, Baker mentioned being frustrated that he hasn't been able to make plays with his legs the last couple of weeks. Um, how important is that to him and to the offense in general? And the fact that he was able to scramble a little bit against the Lions, does that give you kind of hope that he'll be able to add to that? Yeah, I thought he made some nice plays there with his feet. Uh, and certainly that adds an element uh, to any offense's game. Uh, you look at some of the big rush attacks around the league, oftentimes there's quarterbacks that are a big focal point of that. Um, so any, any which way you can gain those yards is a big deal. Kevin, with a, with a guy like Jack, I mean, when we hear dislocated elbow, we're not thinking he's only going to miss three weeks or whatever it's going to be. Are you a little surprised he might be back this soon? Uh, probably in the moment, yes. Uh, you know, anytime you see a guy down like we did in the game, uh, I, I wasn't thinking that it'd be you know a week's injury like it was. So, uh, not surprised though when you think about Jack and, and the type of person and, and player he is. He, he's as tough as they come. You have those scary injuries. Uh, Troy Hill had one of those, obviously. He wasn't on the pre-practice injury report. Are you expecting to have him back on your draft? We are, which is great. And like we talked about uh, whenever it was a week or two ago, just uh, that is scary. So to see him come out of that and, uh, and, and pushing towards practices is, is, a, is a great thing. Why are the Ravens so good on third downs defensively when they're not good on first and second downs? Yeah, they play very aggressive on third down. Uh, they, they can uh, blitz zero you. They can drop everybody in the coverage. They, they play man. They, they crawl up in your face, play in a very aggressive style. Uh, they have multiple rushers uh, from a personnel standpoint that, that, that they can bring. Uh, they have varied type of rushers. Uh, the, the rookie 99 is long and fast. Uh, you know, 93's been doing it for a long time. So you just have a bunch of really good guys that they can throw at, at you in the pass rush game. So, so most of that you're talking about is the pass rush, third and long? Yeah, I mean, third and anything. They're, 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 they, they rush well. Uh, and then they're, they have good coverage. I mean. They got really good corners, so it's a combination of rush and coverage. How are you going to handle tomorrow? Just push up the schedule. What's tomorrow? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll push up the schedule a little bit. Uh, won't meet after practice. Does it mean Schwartz is still in the protocol with the concussion, or have you seen him? Like, is he making steps? I guess toward a return. He's progressing. I don't know specifically where he is and all that, Scott. He was in meetings. Do you know if he's done anything on the field? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what he's done outside of practice. And AJ Green's out of the protocol. Yes.
Kevin, I forget if we've asked you this, but this it's kind of a scheduling oddity with them twice in three weeks. Mm -hmm. How unique is it in, in your time in the league, and, and what kind of challenges does that present? Yeah, I mean, very unique as far as, far as I've heard when the schedule came out. Uh, it's, you know, the closest thing I guess we've been a part of would be the Pittsburgh last year, end of the regular season in the playoffs. Similarly, I know we did that at the Vikings, finished with the Packers and faced them in the playoffs. So uh, it's rare, you know, you come in and, and you watch, you know, both teams will come in and watch this tape and then that's that's it. That's it for the tape you're going to be watching, at least from us. I know they have a game in between, uh, but uh, it, it certainly is, is unique. Kevin, I understand each year is independent, but can, with where you guys are at right now, everything's still in front of you, but pretty much the margin of error is razor thin. Every week is a must win from here on out So in some way, shape, or form. Having gone through that last year, do you think that helps your team at all, the fact that they have some of that experience under their belt going through a late season push? Yeah, I, I think we feel that sense of urgency every week. Uh, I, I know what it, the standings look like. I just I know that we have a, got a big game this week and uh, versus a really good opponent. So we, we always feel that sense of urgency, uh, regardless of what the calendar may say. Some people would say the Ravens have had a lucky year. Others are saying it's just a result of their culture, their resiliency. Does it take a lot of years to build that as a, as a coach of the team? Or do you I don't know. I mean, I would just give them, uh, certainly give them credit for finding ways to win in the fourth quarter and overtime th this year. I, uh, I don't have the exact stat, but a, a bunch of their ball games they've come from behind. Uh, so uh, we got to know that we're in for a 60 minute affair or more. And it seems like Lamar Jackson can be stymied for three quarters and then the fourth quarter he takes over a game. Uh, is there anyone? Kyler Murray's game was similar, and you didn't fare too well against him. So, how do you make those adjustments? Yeah, I think uh, again, Tony, he's a great player. Uh, we, we respect him. Uh, uh, certainly, he has our, our attention, and it's just a matter of, of being sound in all of what you do for 60 minutes or more. I mean, you just you can't let up versus a great player. What makes Mark Andrews so effective? Very, very dependable. Uh, big, fast, great hands. Baker could probably give you a better uh, scouting report than I could, um, but he, he gives everybody, uh, he's a problem. He's hard to cover. I mean, I know you got you love your tight ends, but like, why is it so hard for defenses to counteract um, a really good, especially receiving tight ends? Yeah, I think they're all different, Scott. I think uh, you know, with some the size that some of the tight ends around the league have, it's the classic, they're always open. that They can go vertically and body defensive backs and and get their hands away from their body and snatch the ball. So I think that's where you've heard it said the security blanket for a quarterback is those tight ends because they, they feel like they're always available to them. And you guys use everybody to cover tight ends. It seems like there's not a tight end specialist on defense. Do any teams have a tight end specialist on defense? Uh, I think some teams will bring in bigger corners, bigger safeties if, if they're playing man, when they're playing man, uh, and deploy them versus your tight ends. I think you do see that. Kevin Tank practiced limited last week and then was questionable. Was he close to being able to go? And what, where do you see him? In yeah, the I think he's close, and, and I'm, I'm hopeful that he gets three good days uh, this week. And we ask you about Baker physically all the time this year because of the <laughs> list of injuries. But you know, with the frustration we talked about with you and with him the other day, um, where do you see him at mentally and, and, in terms of confidence? And do you think he? He's in a good place yeah. you know, down the stretch here. Yeah, I think Baker's in a good place. I think he's uh, he, he's pouring everything he has into this week, you know, focus on on his preparation, but I think he's in a good place. We, um, we're in an era of goats, you know, Brady, greatest of all time. Do you put Justin Tucker in that? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're, you're the, uh, you, you can, you're the wordsmith. Uh, He's, he's great. I mean, he's a great player.